My name is Taryn and I'm a registered nurse in the allergy and immunology department. In working with our patients, I've noticed increased anxiety and for both our pediatric patients as well as adult patients in regards to allergy skin testing. Often patients try to anticipate what might be involved with allergy skin testing and these thoughts can cause more worry for some individuals. There are two common types of skin testing, prick testing, more commonly known as scratch testing, and intradermal testing. Internet searches may create negative or scary images that may not reflect what actually happens here in our office. Increased worry and anxiety may cause higher heart rate, irregular breathing patterns, and may also make the patient experience something negative. Often when I do skin testing, patients will say, that's it? Uh, it became clear that some patients may benefit or feel better if they are able to watch a demonstration of how we do skin testing here in our office. And now you're going to see two demonstrations of how allergy skin testing is done in our office. First, the scratch testing, and then the intradermal testing. You'll also see as the nurse reads the results of each of those tests. Skin prick tests can be placed on the arm or back depending on patient preference and the age and size of the individual. A very small amount of allergen is put into the skin by making a small prick on the surface of the skin. The prick tests are done with a sterile, disposable plastic prick test device that looks like a small toothpick. The sensation is generally not painful and only mildly uncomfortable. A prick is done for each individual allergen. For example, skin testing for environmental allergies may involve 20 pricks for a child and more for an adult. The appropriate number of tests will be determined after meeting with the allergist. If you or your child has an allergy, a little swelling that looks and feels like a mosquito bite will appear at the prick site. These reactions occur within about 15 minutes. In this picture, you will see what your skin will look like immediately after all of the pricks are complete. After 15 minutes, your skin will look similar to this picture. There is a positive control that you can see at the bottom of the picture and a negative control above that. This shows us what your skin looks like if an allergen is detected. Skin tests are usually more sensitive for screening for most types of allergies compared to blood tests. Certain medications may prevent skin tests from reacting. Please check our website, corephysicians.org, to see the list of medications that should be avoided before skin testing. Next, the nurse will measure any positive skin reactions. There will be two different measurements. First, the wheel, or what looks like a bug bite or a bump in the center of the skin reaction will be measured. Then the flare, which is the redness around that bump, will also be measured allergens that show this type of reaction will be compared to the positive control. After the measurements are complete, a form is given to the allergist to interpret the results. If your skin prick tests are negative, but your allergist still suspects you might have allergies, more sensitive intradermal tests may be used which a small amount of allergen is injected under the skin. This type of testing is not done for food allergies. A small needle is placed under the skin to insert a small amount of allergy serum, creating a small bleb or bubble. The testing process can sting and is important that the patient's able to sit without moving for this type of testing. Some patients have compared it to the feeling of being stung by a bee. If an allergy is indicated, then it will look and feel like a mosquito bite with redness 
all around it. A positive and negative control will be used to compare the results on the skin. The reactions will occur within 15 minutes. As a reminder, there are certain medications that can prevent skin tests from reacting. Please check out our website for a list of medications to avoid by going to corephysicians.org. After 15 minutes, the nurse will measure any positive skin reactions. There will be two different measurements. First, the wheel, or what looks like a bug bite or bump, will be measured. Then the flare, which is the redness around the bump, will also be measured. Any allergens that are reactive will be compared to the positive control. Once all of the measurements are complete, everything is wiped off, and if the skin still feels itchy, some topical hydrocortisone cream can be applied to help relieve the itch. I hope you found these demonstrations to be helpful to help prepare for your appointment here in allergy.